Nutrition. Hey YouTube, Dogtrition84 here, and welcome to Q and A number forty-four. Um, there's a good number of questions here, but first I'm gonna answer one um, that I kind of want as a voice um, an answer for. Um, and this came up in my October 2005 uh, Dark Magician deck profile. Um, it must have been. Uh, well, this one's from Yu Gi Oh! for Autism. Um, and uh, uh, he basically said it must have been really weird for you to wait around for yourself to become a famous Yu Gi Oh! Not really. Um, what did you do before you became famous? Well, I don't know if I'm that famous, because um, there are bigger Yugi Troopers like Cyber Knight, Simply Unlucky, Roxxon34, and Simo that are more famous than me. Um, even though I've been doing this for a lot longer, um, like I'm one of the OGs. I've been doing this since 2007 um, <clears throat> and yet all these guys are more famous than me <laughs> I don't know how that works um, but anyway to answer your question um, I'm assuming you mean before I started YouTube content creating um, well quite simply I was just um, playing Yu-Gi-Oh! normally, really, um, not recording any games, um, as well as just playing a load of games on my Xbox and Xbox 360, um, especially Final Fantasy XI Online. Um, that was it, really. Um, and now for uh, the questions given to me in the comments of the last episode. Um, first two are from Matt and Alison Welch. One, with the idea of doing a deck building challenge on Dark Sage sounding like a very interesting idea, have you thought about doing one on Mirage Night? Matt actually attempted one years back in 2004 and played it a few times with only two wins out of ten duels that the deck had. Um, no, I haven't, but I did actually used to play it in my Dark Paladin deck. Um, like, uh, during the second half of the October 2004 format. Um, uh, so I used to play Magical Scientist in my deck. Um, and uh, I played Dark Flare Knight and Mirage Knight. Only one copy of each, though. Uh, it seemed like a good idea, um, and it was actually a great way of dealing with problematic monsters, not just uh, Black Buster Soldier Envoy at the beginning, but also things like Horus, Jinzo, Spell Cancellor. Um, if anything, it was a great counter to the Horus Decree lock deck. Um, if I couldn't play my spells or traps, I had to rely on my monster effects. So what I do is uh, summon magical scientist, pay a grand special dark flare knight, attack into the Horus, let it get destroyed, and then special summon mirage knight and attack over the Horus. Um, and uh, of course, I was thinking about playing it in the Dark Magician card only Dark Magician deck, but I ran out of room. Um, of course, Mirage Knight is uh, a great card. I just wish it didn't have that drawback though, where it would get banished at the end of the turn. Um, or at the very least, if it did, um, give it the same 
the same effect as in the anime, where it brings back a dark magician and flame swordsman. Um, uh, that would have made it a lot better, at least. Um, and two, with the next booster set being a Blackwing set, are you going to add the new support to your own Blackwing deck? I don't remember if that is one of the decks you said you were going to sell, so please excuse me on that. Um, yeah, it was one of the decks I planned to sell, and uh, the deck has already gone to uh, my friend Max at Silver Cyclone. He has the core now. Um, but I still have my online build, of course. Um, so I will add the new stuff to the deck regardless, but I've not really had a look at it yet. Um, so I'd need to do that before trying to figure out um, which ones I want to put in. Um, and I've actually got a question here from my girlfriend, Emma aka M's T. Um, since your old channel such a new one, have you ever had anyone random on the streets of London or anywhere you have been and someone has shouted, oh my god, it's the Dark Magician from YouTube? Some fans you might know. Um, funnily enough, no I haven't. Um, uh, because, like I said, um, I'm not as famous as other big Yugi tubers. Um, I mean, the closest thing was probably meeting um, a Lucky Wolf G. Um, the, uh, the guy who hang out, hung out with the scapegoat user and Ojama the Bomb. Um, because uh, I remember on the first Margate trip, I met him on the way there, um, and he recognised me, knew who I was. Um, of course, um, I have, of course, um, half expected one day to uh, uh, run into a hater. Um, of course that hasn't happened, and it's not likely to happen, um, but you never know. I don't know, maybe um, a, a fan will recognise me like somewhere one day. Um, and then there's a few questions here from Webbers5. Um, but before my questions, my cards for Odd Eyes haven't shown up yet, so still a bit of a wait for our showdown. That's fair enough. Uh, one. Which of the following would you consider the funniest thing I've done to an opponent? A. Turned Dante into a dark matter dragon via cypher dragon. B. Waited for my opponent's DP to destroy itself, then revived it with the Dark Charmer link. Didn't know it could do that. Uh, C. Summoned the Magician's Soul to the zone my opponent's topologic Trisbana pointed to, banished their back row, then robbed Trisbana with Triple Tactics talents, and did that to Billingham. Or D, used mystical ref panel to steal my opponent's draws off desires. And to be fair, all of these are pretty funny. Um, now, I, I do remember, of course, when you did do uh, the whole uh, combo with Cypher Dragon and Dante. Um, and uh, it was actually a good tip that... Uh, you gave me that day, and uh, yeah, that inspired me to do the same thing whenever I'd play Blue Eyes White Dragon or uh, Galaxy Photons. Um, it was kind of annoying though we, that we couldn't do that in Master Rule 4, but um, it was so cool. But as for the funniest, um, that's a tough one. 
Um, it's a toss up between B and C. Um, <laughs> I mean, taking uh, DP with the Dark Charm on Link is pretty funny, but if I had to choose one, I'd say C. Um, with the whole combo of Magician Souls and Topologic Trisbane. Um, that is hilarious, actually. Um, I've not seen it played in ages. Um, I have a question, actually. What was Bilzy even playing at the time? I'm very curious. Let me know. Uh, and two, I watched your Blue Eyes deck profile and you explained how you're trying to make it somewhat max rarity to make it like Kyber. Would you be interested in an original ultra rare Neo Ga uh, Galaxy Eyes? Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon to replace your gold one? I mean, the gold one is technically more expensive for whatever reason, but would you prefer um, original over reprint? Um... Ooh, that's hard to say. Um, I didn't even check the part where it said the gold one was more expensive. Um, uh, that is tempting, actually, because um, I do love my ultra rares. Um, and although gold is nice, I do prefer ultra. Um, uh, I guess it depends on the difference in value, really. Um, if there's not much difference, then, um, yeah, I'll take you up on that. Uh, three, what anime card would you most want to own in the TCG? I'd probably want you as Supreme Wing, or Zark's Supreme Presence, or the obvious anime card of Sanctity. Well, originally, it was a dark renewal but then that became a real card back in 2015, but even then, um, it felt kind of underwhelming. Maybe because of the time period where it came out, as um, pendulums were just starting to get big, and um, a Cosmo was big in the meta as well. Um, and it's quite annoying that it said send a target an opponent's monster and send it to the graveyard um, because it just fizzles if it's used on a pendulum and well doesn't do anything against monsters with targeting immunity um, so that put a damper on the whole thing um, but now um, I can't really think of anything um, I would have said the anime version of Card of Sanctity as well, but then I just thought of something else. Elemental Hero Clay Guardian. Um, that's really the only thing I can think of. Um, of course, as much as I'd love the anime version of Card of Sanctity as well, um, it's one of those cards that uh, would have been banned ages ago if it had that text. Shame, really. Uh, that's what I feel like would happen. Um, four. Which of the following would you consider the worst way to win a duel? Oh, I love these questions. Feels like I'm doing a quiz. A. Attacked for game by your own monster. B. Getting lava golems dropped on you while on a thousand life points. C. Trying to deck your opponent out under max C only to lose because they drew the five pieces of Exodia. D. Your opponent summoning Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon or Masquerade the Blazing Dragon while your life points are lower than its activation cost. E. Magic Cylinder or F. Magic Cylinder only to have it boomeranged back at you because you did it on Red Dragon Archfiend and your opponent dropped Crimson <laughs> Oh god, some of these are hilarious but painful at the same time. Um, 
I mean, they're all pretty bad. Um, but I suppose if I had to pick one, I'd say getting attacked for game by your own monster. Uh, particularly in my case, my own Dark Magician. Like, that would just be insulting. Um, like, because, like, that's my favourite card, an ace monster. I hate it when it's turned against me uh, and then used against me. Like, I will not tolerate that at all. Like, I'd rather just scoop it up and not give the opponent the satisfaction. Like, I would rather my Dark Magician got banished than turned against me. That's how much I'd hate that. Um, and if I had to choose um, a runner-up, um, something that's close to it, I would say maybe uh, getting Lava Gold dropped while on a grand. Um, or if anything, out of all the ones on the list, that would be the cheapest way to lose. Because um, that is a cheap way to win a duel. Um, like, it's no better than Lazion for game. Um, um, either that or Caius for game, which is also cheap and annoying. Um, um, it's hard to say what's worse, really. Lava Golem for game, or Lazion the Time Lord for game. Like, I'd say maybe Lazion would be worse, because you can summon it just like that and just let the opponent lose their remaining life points with no cost, no drawback, no effort. Um, I, mean, I guess tributing two monsters the opponent has isn't any effort either, but uh, at the same time it does require them to have two. Um, and uh, well, as for Magic Cylinder, well, um, Magic Cylinder for game is, uh, well, well, here's the thing, Magic Cylinder is a love-hate card of mine. It's a card that I like using myself, but I absolutely hate it when it's used against me, um, especially when I get gamed by it. It's, like, it's so infuriating. It's basically like, it's only fun when I do it. Um, and yeah, that is it for questions in this episode. Thank you very much for your guys' questions. If you've got any other questions you want to ask me, post them in the comments down below. And remember, I do these episodes every Tuesday afternoon or evening UK time, so be sure to get your questions in before then so that you don't miss out. Thanks again, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Thank you very much for watching, be sure to subscribe to the Dark Magician YouTube channel.